What's up everyone? In today's video, I want to talk about how you can answer, tell me about a time you showed leadership. Now, this question is not as straightforward as some of you may think it is because it really depends. And so without further ado, let's dive into the details on how you can effectively answer this question. Now, the first thing you need to be aware of is, well, what does it depend on, right? And that is based on the fact that there are so many types of leadership. There's the official type of formal, I am your superior, you're my direct rapport type of relationship. There are informal mentor relationships. There are also relationships where people will defer to others because that person's the expert. So there's formal and informal leaderships. So that's an easy framework to think about it. So when it comes to talking about, tell me about a time I showed leadership, it really depends on what leadership means when it comes to that role in particular. And that's something that Ideally, you should have prepared for in the interview prep or that you should ask clarifying questions about. So first off, when people ask you this question, if you've already done the work, you know what it is, go ahead and answer it. But if you're not exactly sure what it entails, this is a good opportunity to take a pause and ask them. Actually, that's a great question. One of the things I'm curious about is what are the leadership expectations of this role? And by asking that, you can really just suss out what is it that they're looking for? And this is not kind of like a cop out, but it's more like, help me help you. I want to give you a good example, but if I don't exactly know the expectations for this role, it's difficult to do so. So for example, if you're interviewing for a senior role and if you're in a senior role and the expectation in this team is for the seniors to do mentorship, is to do coaching, is to do kind of informal, bringing people along in their careers, then you should figure that out. Because if that's the case, you need to give an example that is relevant to the role at hand. However, if you're not exactly sure what it is, figure out what are the expectations and just ask on the spot so that you can give them a relevant answer. And you can even add, I have a lot of examples of leadership, but I want to make sure I'm picking the right ones that are relevant for this role. And that way you can really help figure out, is this leadership that they're talking about mentorship? Are they talking about making difficult decisions in an official capacity? or something else, whatever this hiring manager has in mind. Because at the end of the day, it could be leading a project, it could be leading people, it could be leading a bunch of stuff, we don't know. Now, the second thing you need to do is make sure you choose a relevant example. Once you figure it out, what is the type of leadership that they're looking for, then you go into your story jukebox, which I tell everyone to make when it comes to prepping interview questions, and dig in and find out what are some particular examples for this leadership question that you can think of. And examples can come from previous work, from school, from volunteering, it could come from anywhere because at the end of the day, leadership is about people leading people. And there are many ways to do that, not necessarily just through an official capacity. Now, the third thing you need to do is use a STAR method to answer this question. So if you haven't figured out what a STAR method is, definitely take a quick Google of it, but it's basically situation, task, action, and the result. The fourth thing you need to do is highlight the essential key leadership elements so that it's brought to the front because at the end of the day if you tell a story and it's not exactly clear what you're trying to sell it's difficult so you really want to tie that story up at the end and the story should only be about two to three minutes long but you should be tying it up and then leading it back to hey these are the qualities that i can bring to the table so there are three groups of qualities that you can always bundle in and these are always good things to have the first type of quality is decision making and problem solving so essentially the ability to diagnose the situation, figure out what's wrong and make a decision and action upon it. The second group of qualities that you really want to highlight are collaboration and teamwork, which is essentially how did you work with others, whether it's your teammates or stakeholders? How did you get everyone involved and how did you communicate with them in a way that's effective and that gets the job done and that everyone is moving forward together? The third thing that you really want to highlight is initiative and accountability. So not only are you able to diagnose a problem, make a decision, communicate with others, and work together as a team, but at the end of the day, you wanna highlight the fact that you're someone that takes initiative and you are accountable to others, and that way you can gain trust from others. So at the end of the day, once you're done with the example, you wanna bring it back and really highlight these are the qualities that I bring to the table. And that's the fifth and final thing that you wanna do. You wanna connect it back to the role. Now that you've given the examples, you've given the qualities, 
you can connect it back to the role and say, my previous experience has prepared me to be successful in this role that I'm interviewing for. And that you can bring your previous leadership qualities to this current role. And that's it. That's how you answer the question. Tell me about a time you showed leadership. Hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like, share, subscribe, follow the usual stuff wherever you are. Or if you have any thoughts about how to structure this answer or any additional comments, please let me know in the comments below. We'd love to hear more. All right. Take care, everyone.